All right, welcome back, everybody. Some more oxygen not included, spaced out edition, and we are here today to work on some super serious things. We need, absolutely need, to start thinking about ranching. And the reason that I say that is if we take a look at little Hassan here, he's a, a couple of cycles at most away from being able to ranch. So let's start thinking about how we're going to uh, set those up. So ideally what I want is this ladder set here to be three wide. The reason I want it to be three wide is ladder, fire pole, transit tube. And as we unlock them, we'll be able to use them. So if we have a fire pole in the middle, that means we can hop from side to side. No big deal. We also need to start thinking about where we're going to um, put our polluted water. So it might be time to consider opening this area up. So what I'm thinking is just a little bit of diagonal building. But today is all going to be about the ranch. So that's what we're going to be going ahead and, uh, and doing is is the ranch. So I've already started digging out some areas, obviously just by throwing some random bits of collected things on the ground in past episodes. And I think we can start looking into that. So we have a little bit of refinement going on and we have um, some basic power generation for all of it. So let's think about how we're going to do this. We need to set up some doors Oh, we're starting to get access to copper. Awesome. The less aluminum that I use, the, the happier that I'm going to be. So it needs to be pretty basic, but we need to feed pips. And I believe it's like um, three trees. Three, um, was it three or six wild trees uh, for a pip farm? Either way, it doesn't, doesn't really matter. Um, uh, I'll just quickly... Do a little bit of a ghoul and uh, making sure that I leave enough space for a wild pip farm. We'll be right back. All right. So the wiki says we need 0. Or, um, 0. 0.0 or 0. 0.325 wild trees for one pip. So we need we need three trees, which if we consider how uh, the tree grows, they grow branches from left to right. So if we're going to set up um, some wild trees then we need uh, this space, this space, and, and this space to be planted effectively so that branches can grow here to the left and to the right. So if we want to get like critter drop-offs and all that in front, we need to plan that now. Fortunately, we won't need to store any food uh, or anything like that because they'll be eating on the wild trees. So, when we're thinking about setting up the ranch for pips, and I haven't actually full-on ranched pips before. I've used pips a lot in wild planting, but I've never actually ranched pips. Uh, I know they're not as good calorically as hatches, but they are just as free, in a sense, as, you know... A hatch is in the early game because you get tons of rock that you just mine naturally from expanding your base but they are more free even in a late game sense because they provide you a lot of dirt um, which is great actually it's going to be an infinitely renewable source of dirt for sleet wheat farms which we want to move into some berry sludge in the later game so super super good ranchable unit now they don't provide as much calorically like i already said so we're gonna have to add more pips but honestly it's not really the worst thing not really the worst thing at all so now that we have our areas kind of planned what i want to do is set the places where i want these trees planted and then we need to think about how we're going to actually trap the pips inside. Because we want to keep this small, but right, if we close off this area, that means we can't have a full eight ranch size. So pips require the same amount of space that a hatch does, which is 12 tiles 
per. So if we take if we take a little dig dig command here, we can go a hundred tiles. Like I've already dug out, you know, a proper amount of space. In fact, I have too little. Now I could just I could double door this. Unfortunately, that wouldn't work because pips can crawl on the roof. So we can't do it hatch style. So we're gonna solve this by um, doing a little water bottle trick here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a bottle of water and I'm going to dig out this tile. And I'm gonna drop in water. Once it starts emptying, I'm just gonna cancel it because I don't wanna spill 200 kilograms of water everywhere and make just a huge giant mess. Um, so we'll just drop a tiny bit of water onto this tile here by digging out one block. And what that's gonna allow us to do is to create effectively a vacuum seal that the pips won't wanna cross. Um, because this tile will be considered um, drowning for them, so they won't want to enter it. So we can keep the, uh, the pips uh, confined in this ranch. Um, and now that I think about it, I actually need to move this over one. Good thing I was talking about it. Um, yeah, go from there, because we're going to be... There. So these are the three tiles that I want to plant some arbor acorn seeds in right so all, then all we have to do is just copy this straight up just straight up so that is the plan for the ranch um, and then to make them so that they're 96 tiles total right because they're 100 tiles long I'm just simply adding uh, one door and then two tiles, which are bring us down to that 96 tile com, um, total size. A real simple uh, design. Gives us plenty of room to put in automation later for automatic sweeping. Um, but let's go ahead and start getting these uh, set up and fairly quickly. Now, here's the kicker. We do want to keep some wild pips because wild pip planting is still uh, potentially very useful. But honestly, considering how tough it is, and it really is, it is tough to get carnivore. I think we just need to start with a full-on ranch as quickly as possible. Just as quickly as possible. Because we're going we're gonna to burn through, we have six dupes, that's 12,000 calories per day. So we don't even have three cycles uh, worth of food. Three cycles would be 36,000 calories. We have, we have less than that. Now, of course, we have all those wild plants... So it, it is still useful to have some, some wild pips, right? Because we're storing uh, seeds and whatnot in here. In fact, let's go ahead and... Um, let's just grab a little storage bin. What, what I actually need to do is just grab a, grab a couple of storage bins. I'm just going to throw them here. And basically, these storage bins are just going to be for sweep and empty, sweep and empty. Um, that way I can clean up some areas. All right, so I want you to sweep all, um, I, except for oxalate. I don't care about oxalate. Um, we don't have liquefiables, but this will be sweep only copy settings. All right, I want all of this junk out of here. We also need to start a, uh, a pip branch. Let's go ahead and dig that really quickly and then this will need to enable auto bottle all right we want to we actually want to set these a little bit high today is all about ranches all about ranches I want several ranches um, queued up and ready to go effectively so I was looking at this little printout here, and I'm not seeing anything, honestly, that is worth taking. Now, we could get an early doctor, but honestly, we're not going to be worrying about scaldings or anything like that for um, a little while. I don't, I don't, and I honestly don't think that a doctor is super necessary. We can always make our cook do some doctoring. So what I'm just going to do here is I'm just going to print some excellent fruit. Um... You know, 12,000 calories, that's literally two days worth of food. Uh, it buys us some time while we're while we're doing some work. So we have auto bottle set up. So I just kind of want to show you guys real quick how this works. So let's set this to a uh, priority nine. 
And then I also want to get these set up. So we're gonna we're gonna be rolling some serious pip branching. There we go. Now we got 37 grams of water just chilling there, and that's enough. We don't need any more water. None. All we need here is a tile. Now I want just seeds at a high priority. I want arbor acorns. Now I want these seeds planted in a... I just realized something here. I just made a serious mistake with the uh, with these ranches. Um, so these can't be pip ranches at all. In fact, hmm, those will have to be hatch ranches. Well, except for this very first one, we can we can put. We can put pips in here. Um, the reason for that is pips have to plant from the top down and right to left. However, pips require five tiles of vertical space. These are all four. I'm so used to building hatch ranches that I didn't even think about um, uh, planting the, the wild trees. And that's okay. That is actually okay. It's not... Not the end of the world. So we'll just set all of these up for hatches, which is no big deal at all. And because we can get these, we can get these super cramped. All right, so we'll put in three pit branches above that, but we're going to have to do some uh, some more. And actually, we already have we already have a pip stuck in there, which is great. That's it's like actually perfect. So let's go ahead and cancel these. All right, our rancher has effectively come of age. So, it's time to start the hatch ranch. Or the um, the pip ranch. So, it's going to take a little bit until we start getting some eggs. However, if we store these... Where are my arbor acorns being stored? Oh, let's just go ahead and do that. There we go. Eight wild pips in the first ranch ready to go. All right, so this is the basic design of the ranches. So we've got here a couple of areas that we are going to um, store some hatches. And I think hatches are just going to be good for some barbecue in the long run. Although these are going to take a pretty good deal of time to honestly get fully set up. So... Let's think about that for a second. If we have three ranches for hatchings that are going to take a little bit to get online, um, we need to do the pips kind of as a priority. So up here is where they're gonna just quite literally just have to go. Now I'm doing some um, some research right now, but we will have the uh, the base poles here in in just a little bit. So we'll be able to uh, go up and down vertically pretty quickly. What I would also like to do is we have access to just, I mean, it's just a couple, but we have access to some Sweetles. So if I just quit quickly put a little critter drop off right there as we're digging up. Oh man, that's uh. <laughs> That's actually going to be a pretty hard dig up. And it looks like we're going to have a saltwater geyser potentially right there. Hopefully this is actually a saltwater geyser, not a brine geyser. Although brine does have its advantages because you can get a, a lot of a lot of sand and table salt um, from desalinating it. But I'd kind of prefer um, a saltwater geyser. But... If it ends up being like something like a cool salt slush or whatever, we will be able to make do with it. It'll just be slightly annoying. Just isn't the end of the world. And here we've got a pedestal with an interesting 
like an OK symbol skeleton hand. I've actually never seen this uh, particular one before. Also, I have some diamond that we could pick up. You know, just a, uh, just a couple of pieces, but it's it's something, right? All right. So if we're gonna be planning the pit branches, the one thing to consider is we need enough of them. We absolutely hundred percent need enough of them um, to begin with. So we have to build them from the top down. So I'm gonna have to do a little bit of food calculation um, in between um, episodes, but I think this should be plenty of space to go ahead and set them. We'll have more than enough um, hatch ranches for producing coal. Uh, we'll have to look for some sedimentary rock, but um, not the not the end of the world there. Also, um, installed an algae deoxidizer. This is what I decided for our early game oxygen. It was readily available in some um, in some large patches, so we went ahead and uh, queued up some orders to get all of that dug out. Um, then we also have a little bit more up there. So if we go ahead and we just clear the, the new really here, let's just go ahead and, and track this. Um, and that gave us like, you know, four kilos of the stuff. It's not, it's not going to last us uh, forever, but it will last us long enough. We do have access to the fire pole now. So we are going to queue up a, a nice big fire pole job. Um, still power is power is an issue. So if, if we take a look here for the glass furnace, this needs to be our next area of approach, but we run into a, a small problem, which means we're going to have to get into some radiation research. Now I have a way to get some radiation research. It's not power free, um, but it's pretty power small, which is really what we're looking for. Um, so if we go into smelting, we can't get superheated forging right now. So we, we probably do the smelting kind of like secondarily. However, if we go into research and we go to the, um, material science research capability, we already have the means to unlock um, the radiation materials that we are going to need. We, we won't be able to do data analysis for uh, quite a bit. However, we can at least get into material science and we really need to get off hamster wheels as quickly as possible. So that's kind of going to be the goal more for next episode, but I, I wanted to talk about where I wanted to go next with, um, with the research because I think it is uh, super important actually. Now, I do want to get moved up into some more duplicates uh, pretty quick. And I think it might actually be time for us to set up a, a pseudo kitchen. And the reason that I think that is the calorie count is starting to get pretty low. Um, the calorie count has been kind of teetering on the edge for a little bit, but now we're like legitimately low. Oh, hatchling eggs. Um, I don't even, I know people don't like care patch packages or some people don't like care packages, but just for the sake of making sure that we reach this achievement, so I don't have to restart this run. I'm just going to, to take those hatchling eggs. Sue me. Um, no, I actually don't sue me. I actually, you don't think you could anyway. But it's semantics here. Um, but yeah, I'm absolutely going to uh, print those because we already have two hatches kind of just chilling in the bedroom. <laughs> All right, big old fire pole uh, queue job here. Man, that was a that's a lot of metal. Totally worth it though. Totally worth it in the uh, the long run. All right, let's go ahead and pull out all of those ladders in the storage bin now so these trees can properly grow. Uh, one thing, we might run into some problem with, um, with hungry pips here uh, because we didn't plant the trees first. Could be a potential, a potential problem. All right, so nails, it is 
time for you to get your hat, my friend, uh, because we need you to to cook. Did I not hook up the power? Oh, I'm just waiting for some wires to get built. Okay. Why am I building a second micro musher right now? Because you never know. All right. Well, priorities for nails. You are on cooking. Nobody else is. All right, my dude. It is unfortunate. Kind of felt like this was going to happen at some point. It's time for the mush bars. The absolute best food in the whole wide world. Let's go ahead and increase... Um, priority on all that stuff. Actually, it already is, so why are they building this? Hold on a second. I had a level 6 build command on a building at one point that I forgot to reset. Alright, let's fix that really quick. Initial ranches are set up and ready to go, but here's the problem. We don't have a way to multiply these animals um, particularly quickly, specifically the hatches and we do need to get those hatches up and running do we have any sedimentary rock we don't how much sandstone do we have all right let's just close all close all of these for the time being what i need to know is just how much rock i have available i haven't played on this asteroid before so i really need a good idea there is not a lot of sandstone so we're going to have to get into sedimentary rock and stone hatches real freaking quick. So let's go sandstone and then igneous rock. We have hundreds of tons, almost hundreds of tons. All right, so sandstone and hatches. This is going to be, this is actually going to be a little bit difficult. So let's go with sandstone, sandstone. The one thing about hatches is we don't want them buried in, to bury themselves in the ground. So we need to we need to actually get some proper floors in for for the hatches. So while I'm at it, I might as well fully put in some proper floors. Could do the same here and might as well just leave the the arbor trees in. All right, so I've queued up some more jobs, but you guys can kind of see how we are tending to move into some ranches. The only thing we need to do now is to set up a, a proper hatchery. So we have some we have some work errands set up to make some more aluminum ore, and we will be setting up a proper hatchery in the next episode. So I'd like to thank you guys all very much for watching. I think... We are on track to get a lot of things done and uh, do so fairly quickly. I'm looking forward to it. As always, if you have suggestions or uh, comments that you'd like to share, please put them in the comments below. Happy to read those. Uh, please like and subscribe. Also, if you'd like to see your character in-game, I have a Patreon. And as always, I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching, and bye-bye.